It's the home of Haggis, Hogmanay and the Highlands. We've got some stunning castles and amazing landscapes. Yes, we've made the trip up north to Scotland for the latest rounds of the Motorsport UK British Rallycross Championship Five Nations Trophy presented to you by Cooper Tyres. And what a weekend we have in store. So it's a warm welcome to Knock Hill. Tricking, you can see that. Oh, massive contact! A huge incident there. The door was shut by David Watt, and James got to tie into the wall. Green light and go. Good start from Toe Hill. Great start from Hill. Sadly, Ovenden failing to get away from the line. That's a problem for the number 72. So it's Hill versus Toe Hill then down to the first corner. And it's Toe Hill, the 1 1 1 in the Ford Fiesta with the advantage. And in towards that first corner, it is still Toe Hill in the Ford Fiesta with the advantage then over Steve Hill. This is fantastic driving from Derek Toe Hill. Great to see him up the sharp end of the thing as he goes a bit wide through the final corners and comes over the line. But really great uh, exit from the final corner there for Steve Hill. Tries to bring the challenge to Toe Hill, but it's not quite enough. The chequered flag is out. Derek Toe Hill takes the win from Steve Hill. Key one race two, underway. Good start then from Vittles. Godfrey falters as Ovenden, uh, sorry, as O'Donovan rather, I should say, gets the advantage and down towards the first corner. It is O'Donovan then that has the lead. There is O'Donovan, he's gone Joker then on lap three out of four, so ready to come through and start the next lap. But look at Vittles, he takes over the lead at the front of this race. So the Latvian driver, Robert Vittles, with a brilliant str strategy as he comes over the timing line in front for the first time here this weekend. Nothing to go wrong there for Robert Vittles as he comes across the line to take the win in Q1, race two here at Knock Hill. So it's Robert Vittles with the early advantage then here at Knock Hill from O'Donovan, from Julian Godfrey and Mike Seller completing the four drivers on the grid in Q1, race two. Green lights and go. Good start there from Ovenden. Seller doesn't get away well at all. Here comes Donnelly then on the inside, side by side. And Mark Donnelly, the reigning champion, has the lead down towards the first corner. So it's Donnelly that leads the way, but he's in hot down the Dublin's dip. He gets it stopped, though, into the gravel section, onto the dirt for the first time the drivers go. And it is the reigning champion of Mark Donnelly that has the advantage and leads the way. What a meteoric comeback this could prove to be for the Black Citroen DS3, because as I said, it was engulfed in flames in practice earlier on today. To be back out on the track at all at any point in round four is a fantastic achievement, but where is Donnelly going to emerge? Has he done enough to overthrow Ovenden, yes, he has on the final lap. So that was brilliant tactics there from Mark Donnelly. He had good pace and he really closed in the gap, especially on that final lap. And he takes the win in Q2, race one for round four here. Green light and go. Good start from Vittles. Great from O'Donovan off the middle of the front row. Then here comes Toe Hill trying to sneak his way up the inside then as Vittles goes towards the back of the grid. Godfrey's round the outside of Toe Hill into second place. So it's O'Donovan from Godfrey from Toe Hill then from Vittles as they come onto the gravel for the first time. Great start then from Ollie O'Donovan getting away very nicely behind the wheel of that Mark 7 Ford Fiesta because I think O'Donovan's going to get the advantage but Toe Hill is not too far adrift over the timing line they come to start the final lap it's side by side for second down the start finish straight here comes Godfrey looking up the inside of Toe Hill but Toe Hill's later on the brakes he firmly shuts the door out of the final corner and across the line it comes on Ollie O'Donovan to take an emphatic Q2, race two win here at Knock Hill. Free lights and go, great start then from O'Donovan, not bad at all from Toe Hill coming down the outside, then as they go side by side down towards the first corner, it's O'Donovan on the inside, Toe Hill on the outside, look at Donnelly trying to get through on Ovenden for third place, doesn't quite manage to do it as O'Donovan leads the way on the gravel section then. So Ovenden pushed out wide, down into fourth place goes the number 72. Semi-final two, green lights and go, great start from Vittles, not a bad initial launch there from Godfrey, he struggles in the second phase, as does Mike Seller as well. So it's Vittles versus Hill down towards the first corner. It's the Latvian driver in the Citroen C4 that has the advantage and has the lead as they come down Duffer's dip onto the gravel for the first time. So it's Vittles from Hill from Mike Seller and Julian Godfrey's middle of the front row start has all come to nothing.
nothing, sadly, after he struggled to get away. Whether that was an issue with the clutch or whether it was just a driver error, I'm not 100% sure at this stage, but either way, it has put him very much on the back foot in semi-final two. Pulling off the circuit now is Julian Godfrey, so a definite technical problem there for the number 20, and it brings a very early end to his race, and that is going to be disastrous for his starting position in the final. No such problems, though, meanwhile, for Robert Spittles. He has driven this race to perfection, and the 18-year-old Latvian once again is proving why he is held in such high esteem in the Five Nations British Rallycross Championship. Through the tri he comes onto the start-finish straight, and it's a win in semi-final two for Robert Spittles in the Citroen C4. Round five is underway. Good start then from the front row of the grid. Pretty even Stevens as they come down the hill and down towards the first corner, but not for Tom Constantine as he slows in the second phase of that start. And look at the number 18 of Andrew Hawks, who's now up the inside. Now, we know Brown is Joker. We know Constantine is Joker, so this is a battle for position. So Brown just doesn't look to have the pace. Constantine does. They run side by side down the start finish straight. Constantine's on the outside, but even before he's made it into the first corner, he's got the traction, he's got the outside line, he's running a bit wide into Duffer Stiff. He gathers it all up, chops the nose off of Steve Brown and gets himself up into second position. Long hold, green light and go. Good reaction there from Luke Constantine. Not bad at all from Max Weatherly off of the pole position. Side by side with Jane Const Constantine. They come down towards that first corner. So it's three abreast as they come down in towards the first corner then. Down in towards the first turn they go. It's Max Weatherly with the advantage from Luke Constantine. James tries to go towards the outside there. Very late on the brakes and no room there for James Constantine. He then gets duffed over by Luke Constantine and now sits down in the second to last place. And there's so much undulation through there as well that it really does make it quite tricky. And you can see there, oh, massive contact, a huge incident there. The door was shut by David Watt and James Constantine into the wall, into the side of Luke Constantine there as well. Smoke pouring out of the Suzuki Swifts. Max Weatherly comes over the line to take the chequered flag in the final for the Suzuki Swifts, but massive, massive drama there. David Watt just didn't look at his mirrors, didn't see what was going on there, didn't see that James Constantine was trying to send it through up the inside. And then comes Don McLeod, the Scotsman who will finish on the podium at his home event here at Knock Hill. Green light and go. Good start then from Caldwell. Great from Stephen Jones. Poor from the pole sitter. Although Donovan, though, he drops right to the back of the grid before the first corner. So that's a disaster for Patrick O'Donovan. Stephen Jones leads the way from Caldwell then as they come through the first corner for the first time onto the gravel section where we've seen so much drama in some of the support classes here this weekend. He runs it a bit wide off the gravel section. Did he keep it on the straight and narrow? Yes, he certainly did. Caldwell then goes into the hairpin bend, into the tri-oval and goes through to take the race win in the final. Green light and go. Good launch then from the front row of the grid for Dave Bellamy. Great away from Ben Sayer as well. Not so good from Dave Ellis as they come down towards the first corner. He's being mugged by Tom Constantine as Constantine's leaning on him up the inside. Sayer's out well, well wide. He's sliding all over. There are loads of them going off as they try and go on the ragged edge of adhesion. There's just no grip out there because of the wet circuit. So Sayers off and Dave Ellis. So two of the front row starters are off into the gravel at the first turn. Down into the hairpin bend they go for the final time. It is going to be Dave Bellamy who comes out of it and claims the checkered flag to win the final for round five of the Five Nations British Rallycross Championship in the BMW Mini. Green light and go. Great start from Avendun and sadly Vittles doesn't get away at all as they come down towards the first corner. So it's over. O'Donovan then with the advantage. Ovenden gets challenged by Steve Hill. They make contact into the first corner. So Ovenden then loses out as O'Donovan leads the way from Steve Hill, from Ovenden, from Mike Seller as Toehill's into the gravel at the first turn of that as well. And O'Donovan, the race lead, is into the gravel. I don't believe it. Off goes Seller as well. Goodness me, what drama at the start of lap two. The race leader, Ollie O'Donovan, has thrown it all away. And now Steve Hill leads the way. Ollie O'Donovan in second position now as Steve Hill's made his joker. So he's dropped back behind him and spins on the exit of T2. Oh, Steve Hill, he's thrown a podium away at the end of this race. That's a, such a shame for the Mitsubishi Evo 10 driver then. And what an absolutely phenomenal race it's been. Robert Spittles then out of the final corner and over the line. He just kept his nose clean and despite not making it at the start, wins the final for round four of the supercars here at Knock Hill, ahead of Ollie O'Donovan, ahead of Steve Hill, ahead of Tristan Ovenden, and then ahead 
huge congratulations to Robert Spittles, who wins round four, taking his second win of the season in the Five Nations British Rallycross Championship.